Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about population genetics. Here is a problem. In a group of students, 36% could roll their tongues, a trait determined by dominant gene. The other 64% are non-rollers. Calculate the frequencies of the gene capital R for tongue rolling and its recessive allele small r for non-rolling. And uh, if you think that you can solve this problem, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So in order to solve this problem we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula and in this formula that is F equals to P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared and all equals to 1. In so as you see in this formula we have allele P and allele Q, two alleles. And in our problem we have also two alleles. One is dominant capital R and another one is recessive small r. So uh, as you understand uh, in this gene pool we have only two alleles. So according to this formula, uh, in this formula also two alleles present, so allele P and allele Q. And uh, frequencies of these two alleles would equal to 1. In this formula uh, we do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And you have to understand that we also can convert uh, all these frequencies on the scale between 0 and 100%. So 1 in this formula equals to 100%. And uh, as you see, also our frequencies are given in percentage form. So once again, 100% equals to 1. In Hardy-Weinberg formula, P correlates with capital R in our problem and Q correlates with small r. Now we can return to Hardy-Weinberg formula. So P squared would equal to genotype that is capital R, capital R. 2PQ would uh, be genotype that is capital R and small r. And Q squared would be genotype that is small r, small r. So now uh, we know that uh, genotype that is dominant is uh, 36 percent and dominant genotypes would be these two genotypes that is here. So both uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotype would make 36 percent. And genotype that is small r, small r would make a recessive phenotype and is going to equal another 64 percent. So if we take a look at the uh, phenotype that is dominant, can we say the frequency of the dominant allele r? No, we can't because uh, some of this dominant phenotype is made by uh, homozygous dominant genotype and some uh, would made by heterozygous genotype. So we cannot say uh, the frequency of the dominant allele because uh, recessive allele also present here. But if we take a look at this genotype and this genotypes equals to phenotype so only small r allele present here and we know the frequency so we can say that small r small r genotype would equal to q squared and would equal to 64 percent and if we use different scale between 0 and 1 we can say that 64 percent would equal to 0 0.64 so how we are going to find q we have q squared and we need to find frequency q and this is very easy we have to take 
a square root of this number. So frequency of the uh, recessive allele R would equal to Q and would equal to square root of the 0 0.64. So the frequency would be 0 0.8. So we can put this frequency here, 0 0.8, this is going to be frequency of the Q or small r allele. And as you see, Q plus P or small r plus capital R or recessive allele plus uh, dominant allele would equal to 1. So this is very simple calculation. We instantly know that frequency of the dominant allele R would equal to 0 0.2. So when we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1. Or we can say this is going to be 100%. So frequency of the dominant allele is 0 0.2 or 20%. I just multiply this number by 100 and frequency of the um, recessive allele Q or small r equal to 0 0.8 or if we multiply by 100 we can say 80% would be frequency of the recessive allele. So 20 plus uh, 80 would be 100%. Now using these two frequencies P and Q we can use in our formula to find frequencies of each genotype but our task today were just to find frequency of the dominant and recessive allele so we are done and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye